So is it one point gained or two points lost? This is the Arsenal versus Manchester United match review. Richard, welcome back to my channel over and over and over again, the Positive Arsenal channel. In this video, we'll look back at yesterday's goalless draw here at the Emirates against Manchester United. Just before I get into all that, I want to make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. If you're new here and you like some positive Arsenal content, or if you've been here before and you haven't got around to doing it yet, please uh, click on the subscribe button down in the corner there. Please give this video a like as well if you do enjoy it, and please share the content around as well. And if you've got any comments at all to make about the game yesterday, the team selection, or anything to do with Arsenal, please drop me in the comments box, because I do love to hear from you you guys as well. So with the team selection, there wasn't too many surprises, was there? In fact, there was only one change from the team that won 3-1 away at Southampton in midweek. That was, of course, uh, Bukayo Saka picked up an injury, um, so he was left out of the squad entirely. So this is how we lined up. It was Bert Leno in goal. The back four, it was Hector Bellerin at right back. It was Cedric Suarez again at left back. Still no Kieran Tierney. And the two centre-backs were Rob Holding and David Luiz. The two midfield pivots were Thomas Partey and Granit Xhaka. Of course, it was great that Partey was part fit for this game having gone off in midweek uh, then the three in front there it was um, Pepe this time was moved back to the right hand side Martinelli came in on the left in place of Saka um, and Smith Rowe again he was fit as well to start in the number 10 position and Lacazette up front of course there was no Balogun on the bench again maybe they're still waiting for him to sign his contract or possibly leave the club so it was Eddie and Ketia who was on the bench along with Willian and Willock and a couple of defenders in Callum Chambers uh, Maitland Niles and Gabriel as well in terms of Manchester United they made quite a few changes from midweek of course when they lost um, at home to Sheffield United. So there was returns to the side for Luke Shaw at left back. Also Lindelof at centre back as well. In midfield, McTominay and Fred were, were back as well. Um, and Cavani started up front. I mean, in many ways, you could say it was perhaps a game of two halves. Manchester United probably were on top in the first half, had the better chances, uh, and maybe felt they should have gone in at half time in the lead. Well, in the second half, I thought we did get on top and um, we had the better chances, hit the crossbar, and maybe could have sneaked a victory. Yes, United always looked dangerous on the break. And I think overall, I think both sides could probably accept that a draw was a fair result. Once again, at home, though, we did start very slowly. A, Quite a poor first half performance overall. Uh, Man United did have a lot of the ball. We defended well though. What we've got now is I've noticed a, a much better shape when we don't have the ball. Yes, we defended well when we had to. Balls into the box were really well dealt with by Rob Holding and David Luiz who are actually building up a really good partnership. Um, but it was more when we didn't have the ball. The number of players we got behind the ball, we shut the spaces down. And even some of the forward players were working hard. Pepe, Martinelli, working hard to get back and do their defensive duties. And that's what's made a big difference over the last few games. Of course, we did rely on a fantastic save from Bernd Leno, didn't we, to deny a shot from Fred from the edge of the box, which was going in a corner. Really good fingertip save that was. And I think that sums up the form he's in at the moment. He's really turned it around after a shaky start to the season. He's now looking back to his best. Uh, and we've needed him as well. And he's, he's producing some really important saves at important moments now, nearly every single game. I was hoping that we'd come out for the second half with a little bit more attacking intent, and we did. Unfortunately, Gabriel Martinelli didn't reappear for the second half. Mikel Arteta said it was a tactical substitution. Yes, he didn't have his greatest game in the first half. I still think he's a little bit rusty. He's hardly played any football, has he, for the last year? Um, so it was Willian that came on. And to be fair to Willian, I thought he had a decent half. Yes, he should have scored. There's no doubt about that. Hector Bellerin's cross fell to him at the far post. He had so much time uh, and he took too long, quite honestly, to get his shot away. 
Uh, he was so desperate to get it onto his right foot, wasn't he? And in the end, the shot was cleared away and blocked by Wan Bissaka, where he shouldn't have given him the opportunity to get back. He should have hit it first time. And I'm sure a confident William would maybe have done that and would possibly have scored. Of course, later on, we did come even closer, didn't we, with Lacazette's fantastic free kick to hit the underside of the bar before it was cleared away. Very unlucky that was. Um, and what an important goal that could have been. Just uh, if it'd been maybe a, a yard or two further back with a free kick, it would have dipped enough and gone in. De Gea would have got nowhere near it. So we were really unlucky there. And we did have one or two other moments. I, I want to give um, credit to Pepe as well. I thought we had another good game. He played well at Southampton and he played well yesterday. A couple of times he came close to scoring, didn't he, with his trademark cutting in from the right and curling one with his left foot. One in the first half, which went just past the post. And then the one in the second half was even closer, wasn't it? It was a good break from Arsenal. It looked like Pepe was just going to fire it into the bottom corner, but it just went wide at the post. And, and that would have been a fully deserved goal for him as well, I say. Another good performance. That's two in a row now. He works hard for the team as well, and it's good to see. Maybe he's finally going to be showing the sort of form that we all expected him to produce. In the end, though, neither team could get the goal, could they? Uh, Cavani missed a couple of chances for Manchester United late on. And I think maybe it would have been a real smash and grab if they'd got the victory, I think. And we come away with a draw. Yes, we need as many wins as we can. There's no doubt about it. But Man United are a good side. They don't lose many games. They've only lost one since we beat them back in November. So I think that we have to be pretty satisfied with a point. And what was a fairly good performance, particularly in the second half, uh, and I think it shows the improvements that we've made um, under Mikel Arteta now. We look a lot more organised and we are a threat on the counter-attack as well. So overall, a satisfactory performance if a slightly frustrating result that we couldn't get the goal. But we take the point and we can move on. Once again, there was a few candidates for man in the match, wasn't there? A few players had good individual performances. I thought Leno again in goal, as I say, really back to his best. That was a fantastic save, wasn't it, from Fred? Really important moment as well. If Man United scored that, I think it would have been difficult for us to get anything from this game. I thought the back four were good. Bellerin did okay. Yes, he gets caught out sometimes, but he got forward well. I thought we had a decent game. Cedric Suarez as well at left back. Suddenly, he's took the pressure off Kieran Tierney, hasn't it? I think we were worried before if Tierney missed the game, we would struggle. But Cedric Suarez has come in, done a brilliant job again. That's two games in a row now. He's performed really well at left back. So credit to him as well. And I thought the two centre-back pairings is great. Rob Holding and David Luiz, brilliant again. And another clean sheet for those two. I thought in midfield, maybe we wasn't as great as I was anticipating. I thought Thomas Partey was a little bit off the pace. Again, he's not played a lot of football, has he? So maybe we can forgive him for that. He gave the ball away a lot. I thought Xhaka had a good game next to him, though. His passing was, was good. And I thought he, he had a decent game overall, Granite Xhaka. Um, the, the three in front um, were a bit hit and miss. I say Martin Ellie didn't have his greatest game in the first half, did he? And got taken off. Willian did all right when he replaced him. Smith Rowe was a bit in and out, wasn't he? He had some good moments and he had some poor moments and maybe didn't have enough influence on this game overall. And I say Pepe on the right hand side had a good game as well. I thought we had a really good performance again from him. Lacazette out front again, I thought he, he did well. Unlucky with a free kick, he worked really hard and he's certainly in really good form at the moment as well. But if we've got to pick a man in the match, I think for me, it's going to have to go to one of our defenders, one of our two centre backs. It comes down to Rob Holding or David Luiz. Both of them were outstanding. But I'm going to give it to, to David Luiz, simply because I feel as though he's, he's one, he's, he's very underrated for us. And I feel as though he's so important. I thought earlier in the season, his experience was really helpful to Gabriel, to help Gabriel settle in and help Gabriel produce some good performances. And now his, his experience has really helped Rob Holding produce some really good performances as well. I think he's been vital this season. I think he's had a good season. I thought yesterday he was outstanding. He was a real leader. Uh, and he helped us to, to the clean sheet and ensured that we got at least a point from this game. So for me, the man in the match yesterday was David Luiz. So yeah, it's another unbeaten game, isn't it? Seven unbeaten in the Premier League now, five wins and two draws, only two goals conceded in that run as well. So um, we've certainly turned the corner, we're heading in the right direction. Yes, you could look at it as two points dropped um, when you're at home, but Manchester United have been one of the most consistent sides this season. So we've got to look at that as a good point uh, and we move on. Particularly if we can get a win now in midweek against Wolves and it makes this point even better. So as I say over, I think we need to be pretty satisfied with this performance. They haven't lost away from home for 18 games in the Premier League now which is a club record for them so it shows what a difficult game this was and we came out of it with a point and I think we need to be to be happy with that and I say move forward now looking ahead to some more big games and let's hope we can 
keep this run going because we've really turned it around. It's been built on a really good, solid defensive base, almost back to the George Graham days, isn't it? You don't concede, and at least that way, you, the minimum you get is a point, and that's certainly what we've done. I do feel at home a little bit, we're still struggling, aren't we, to break teams down and score goals. When you think about our last few league games at home, nil-nil against Crystal Palace, it was nil-nil for a large chunk of the game against Newcastle, and then it was nil-nil again today. So we are struggling to break teams down, and that is an issue that we need to that we need to work on. Away from home, we look a lot more free-flowing, playing on the counter-attack and it is something that we need to sort out at home. But overall, I say this is a good point. We move forward now to two away games, which that may benefit us more being away from home. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But I say this was a good point. I was reasonably satisfied. Uh, and we move on to Tuesday. So that's that there. That's my review of yesterday's goal this draw against Manchester United. Uh, so it's a busy week again, isn't it? We've got a big game on Tuesday away at Wolves and then away again at the weekend against Aston Villa. Two teams, of course, who beat us at the Emirates earlier in the season. So a little bit of revenge there. Stay tuned to the channel. If you haven't done so already, please click on the subscribe button down in the corner there. Please give this video a like as well if you've enjoyed it. Uh, so there's lots of good stuff coming up. Tomorrow I'll be doing a preview of the Wolves game and I will be looking to try to do a, a, a live show as well. Maybe get a Wolves fan or maybe Jay who came on before us. So if he wants to come back on, we can look ahead to that game. And then, of course, um, I'll be doing a live watch along on Tuesday as well. The game is early kickoff, isn't it? Six o'clock, I think. So probably go live about quarter to six for that one. Um, and then after that, of course, I'll be doing a full review video of that game as well um, on Wednesday. And then we're looking ahead to the weekend against Aston Villa. Looking to get an Aston Villa fan on for that show maybe on Friday. So loads and loads coming up. So please stay tuned to the channel. Um, please share the content around. Um, and in the meantime, of course, as we move into another massive week for the club, come on, you gunners!